Snestrunk. Welcome back to Snestrunk Plays. Uh, Secret of Mana here in Pandora's Castle. The vague, very vague empire attacked us 15 years ago. Well, I haven't. It snowed here in April. I guess global warming doesn't exist anymore. Hello? Yeah. Those people exist in video games too, believe it or not. Particularly in this game. Oh, do you? Do you sense something evil? It reminds me of... <laughs> been watching a lot of Mystery Science Theater 3000. Uh, I watched the episode of... Uh, hey, it's What's-Her-Name. And literally, What's-Her-Name, because she does not have a name in this game yet. <laughs> this is great! You have a big-ass sword! Insert... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Euphemism here. I'm drunk! Alright, what do I name her? Let's see here. Um, I really don't know. I'm gonna take another sip of Jameson. I think... Penny. She looks like Penny from... Uh, uh, what's it called? She's got the blonde ponytail like Penny does from uh, Inspector Gadget. The thing, though, is that I never liked Penny from Inspector Gadget. <laughs> I, thought I, always thought she, I always thought she was really annoying. But uh, I'm probably alone in that as lots of people my age seem to really enjoy Inspector Gadget, and it doesn't appear that I have anything I can equip on her right now. That's fine. Whoa, what was that? Okay. Yeah, let's go back. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have a really dumb sense of humor. I'm never returning there again. Well, let's return there right now. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Something serious is happening. Oh, okay. Look at this. Gemma's leaving again. As soon as I show up, he's like, Oh, I gotta go, buddy. Oh, you know how it is. Like, Jesus. What a lame ass. Here we go. Be that way. Let's go. No, let's not. Let's talk to more people. Deal with it. What's in here? I, you know, I never noticed this uh, door over here before. Maybe I, maybe I have in the past, but I. Huh. Goofy. The king's room. Oh, okay, whatever. King has a king bed back there. That's cool. Eh, let's get out of here. Should I go back in the bedroom? No. Never mind. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny, but whatever. Uh. Wow. I, I always wonder why game developers insist on including rooms and just things that literally serve no purpose. They're just there for the sake of being there. Are they just bored? Like, is it is it like a Thursday afternoon at the office and they're just like, well, I'll just go ahead and make another room here. Like, wh what? why? Why, is, why was that room there? I don't know. I'll never know. It's fine. I don't hate that it's there. I'm just curious. That's all. Probably had a little too much to drink. I'm kind of in ultra rambling mode right now. Uh, where? Oh, I want to go to the left. Right. Exactly. Yes. We want to go this way to get to Gaia's navel. Yeah. Music change. Hell yeah. And since we have uh, what's her name here? What's her name? What did I name her? Oh, I named her Penny after um. Uh, 
Inspector Gadget. So she should be uh, somewhat uh, competent with the spear. I think I'm going to keep her with the spear for now. Um, eventually, I want to give the spear to another character. Char character? Character. Um, but what I need to do for now... Uh, you, what I really love about this game is that you can move her around on a grid on how you want her to approach other enemies. Um, you can experiment with this throughout the game. I think that's a good spot for her right now. That's where I usually put people um, in this game as a treasure. I'll take it. 16 gold pieces. I get to be a, a bag of chips, maybe. And she's already reached level two. Right on. Oh, wow. Look at all this grass. Oh, God. I'm overwhelmed. Sensory overload. Oh, wow. We've got enemies, though. Gotta take care of them first. Yeah, that's what I really like about Secret of Mana, is that you can uh, not only cut the grass, <laughs> is that you can... the the Your partner's computer AI obviously, but you can... There's 16 different uh, things you can... Uh, spots you can uh, customize their uh, character ability towards. And uh, it's... It's actually very responsive. It's very accurate in terms of, you know, if you want her to back off, she'll back the fuck off. If you want her to uh, be a little better than that, if you want her to be more aggressive... She'll be up in people's faces. It's pretty cool. I like it. You can't cut grass with a spear, sadly. Yeah, I forgot to mention, if you press select, um, that uh, switches to your second partner. Look at all this cut grass. Oh, it's so nice. I don't know. I, I can't explain why. It's just very satisfying. <laughs> oh, this is where we go. Okay. <laughs> what? Yeah, the prob the the very distinct disadvantage of um putting your character your second character on something too aggressive is that he or she will get into trouble very easily. Like what just happened there. They'll get their ass kicked very quickly. And that's no fun for anybody. More treasure! Candy! Alright, let's go. More grass. Must resist. Look at all that grass. Swaths of grass. Not leaves of grass. Swaths of grass. Fuck you, Walt Whitman. <laughs> like how the only reason I know who Walt Whitman is is because of Breaking Bad. Uh, if you haven't seen Breaking Bad, go see it. Go watch it. It's it's the best show ever. Can I see we're both knocked out. What the hell happened? Let's take a nap by this rock here. Jesus. Great idea. God, she's fucking weak as hell. It's not cool. I think that's her equipment. More than anything. There we go. At least rabbits are no concern. I think that treasure chest came from a mush boom, and those are poisonous, so I'm not gonna take it. But meanwhile, there's like a little stage up here. <laughs> so do a little talent show up there, I guess. More mush booms. Yeah. Yeah, her original weapon is the. Uh, brass knuckles or something like that and uh, it's not that great. It's not all that inspiring. Uh, the, the spear you get from Luca Sage or Sage Luca or whatever her name is is, uh, I like it a lot better. A little more range. I don't know if range is even a thing in this game but whatever. Yeah, one thing about this game is that if you try a charge attack, in fact, I don't even know if I've talked about that yet in this game, in this uh, Let's Play, rather. If you try and talk about that, if 
uh, you try and do a charge attack on something in this game, and it hits you in the middle of your charge before you attack, that charge is completely wasted and you start from nothing. It's really annoying. Let's buy stuff and let's uh, equip it. She needs better equipment so she doesn't get killed so easily. This is Kippo Village. If you didn't pay attention to the uh, villager earlier. Uh, we need a hair ribbon and all sorts of bullshit. Yeah, it's not like uh, Lufia 2 or whatever other Super Nintendo RPG I can't remember off the top of my head, but you're going to want to uh, equip things accordingly. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.